started, we've got some really fun songs today. So I hope that you are as excited as I am um, to be here. And I think we're just going to get started. Um, we're going to go through all of our songs and our warm-ups and our tongue twisters and all that good stuff today, just like we always do. And then at the end, like we did a couple times ago, um, we're actually going to sing along with the tracks if we hopefully we'll have time. So we're going to not waste time um, since we got off to a bumpy start anyway. Make sure that you've got some water next to you if you need it. Um, it's always a great thing, not only for your voice as we are working on our vocal power, but also as it's getting so much hotter, at least here in the States, um, it's getting so hot outside. Um, so good to drink water. Always good, but especially when it's hot. Um, so, oh, here we are. Let's start with a nice deep breath. We're going to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Here we are. It's easier said than done when you have a cold. <laughs> Another deep breath. And one more. Nice, big deep breath all the way into the belly. Really deep and powerful. There's all kinds of funny visualizations you can do. And I say funny, I just mean like a little like woo-woo, you know, um, <laughs> little silly things that you can visualize as you're breathing in that may make it even more effective for you or it may make you feel really silly and you don't have to do it. Um, but one such thing is as you breathe in, imagine that breath touching all of the cells in your body and waking them up. Um, and just see how that feels. And if it doesn't work for you, that's okay. If it does, you might even get a little bit of extra oomph from that, um, from that breath. So let's try one more. If you were on the interview with David Leventhal from Dance for PD um, with us, he talked a lot about visualization and I think it's a really powerful tool. So cool thing to, to think about and try out sometimes and a really cool interview to go back to if you were not there. So let's take those shoulders. We're going to raise them up and drop them down. Raise them up and drop them down. One more. Raise them up and drop them down. Let's split those shoulders so one goes up, the other goes down and we switch and we switch one more and then we'll just shake it out let it go nice let's get into the head awesome awesome let's see Joan says we're all good we are no longer frozen hooray okay let's get into the head we're gonna tip over ear to shoulder I had a little crunch just now when I did that maybe you did too that's why we do this we hold some tension and things in our neck our upper body, our shoulders, our all of that good stuff, our backs. Um, so this just allows us to kind of get rid of some of that tension, get rid of some of that crunchiness and um, move from a place of power. So other side, tip over ear to shoulder. <sighs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Feeling that stretch on the opposite side of the neck. Come on up, and this time we're going to look down at the floor, chin to chest. Taking some nice deep breaths the whole time. Really good. We didn't actually roll our shoulders, so let's do that. Let's get those shoulders going in a nice circle. Either direction is fine, whatever feels good to you. If you want, put those hands on your shoulders if you don't have any shoulder or upper back issues. Um, and let's actually make bigger circles even with the elbows. So engaging a little bit more of that arm, creating a little more warmth as if any of us need warmth these days in the summer. <laughs> awesome. Clasp your hands, push them forward, round the back. Get a good stretch going. Ah, and don't forget to breathe. It's so easy to hold on to that breath when we're stretching and finding tension. 
Um, but letting go of the breath is going to help you to relax and find some more space. Awesome, Joan. Thanks for sharing about the Dance for PD class that you do. Um, is that a Zoom class? Perfect. Arms are going to come back, open and down, puffing out the chest. So we're making a little opposite shape. Before we were concave, now we are convex. If looking from the front, I suppose. If you're looking from the back, then it's the opposite. All right, Whew. shake out whatever you need to shake out. Uh, we are going to chew really large with the mouth. Imagine that you have a piece of chewing gum in there. And on the subject of chewing gum, um, our lovely friend Grace, who I don't think is here today, but maybe she'll catch the replay, um, asked a question in our Facebook group as to whether chewing gum was helpful for face, tongue, swallowing, muscle, all that stuff. And um, I think all of our intuitive answer was, yeah. Uh, but a quick Google search brought back a um, search, or a, I'm sorry, a research study rather, that I posted on her comment on the Facebook group um, that showed actually that chewing gum actually did, in a randomized or controlled study rather, um, did help people's tongue and facial musculature. So really, really cool thing um, to check out and maybe add into your regime. But let's pretend to chew now, unless you actually happen to have a piece of gum. Nice. We're going to move our mouth and our lips over to one side. Looks really silly. Just do it anyway. I can't see you. You can see me, unfortunately, but we'll just, we'll be all right with it. And other side. Mm. Mm. Now in a circle. Mm. Lovely. All right. I'm going to give you um, a fun little exercise that you can do later. Um, I didn't want to make you scramble for props today, but um, we have. Uh, I believe it's called the hyoid maneuver. Hmm. You may have done it if you're in any kind of um, physical therapy. Always good to just check with the doctor before you're doing anything like this. But you'll need a straw, some pieces of paper or paper towels, and preferably um, you know, a table in front of you and then some kind of a vessel, a bowl or a cup or a something. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your straw and you're going to put it to your mouth and um, you're going to inhale and suck until the paper comes up to your straw. Then you'll pick up the paper off the table, move it over, and deposit it in your vessel, your cup, your bowl, whatever. You can even just have a mark, whatever. Um, but this is going to help improve your swallowing function. So here we go. I'm going to inhale. There we are, number one. Again, here we go, I'm gonna inhale. I'm just moving the straw close. I'm not putting it all the way on, right? That's a little too easy. So we're moving it close and seeing if we can actually draw the paper to the straw. Here we are. Ooh, let's try one more time. There we are. Um, just an exercise that you can try. Um, you can start with just a handful, a couple of pieces of paper and maybe work up to 10 or 12 pieces of paper at a time. Um, and again, that's gonna help improve our swallowing function and some of that musculature. So, fun little homework assignment for you and you can report back or send us a silly video of your straw. I don't know, something like that. So. Fun stuff. Let's get to tongue twisters. Here we go. We have first snap, crackle, pop. Easy enough, right? Snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Again, snap, crackle, pop. There's so many good consonants in there for you. You've got your P's and your C's and your K's. Snap, crackle, pop. 
I like it. Use those consonants. Our next one is stupid superstition. Stupid superstition. Again, your consonants, your T's are what's going to really help you to articulate this sound. Stupid superstition. Stupid superstition. After that, we have rolling red wagons. Rolling red wagons. Rolling red wagons. One more. Rolling red wagons. Last but certainly not least, we have tried and true tridents. Tried and true tridents. Really over exaggerate your face. Remember that as we do these exercises, we want to really exaggerate and overemphasize things so that when we get into that conversational situation, um, our baseline is at this exaggerated place. So when we're just having a relaxed conversation and maybe we're not focusing that much, if our baseline is already here, then when we're in a kind of relaxed situation, we're just coming to here versus if we're starting at a really relaxed and then we're coming in at almost illegible, if that, or illegible unintelligible, unintelligible, I guess. Anyway, words. Okay, <laughs> so um, let's go through all four of those in a row, and then we're going to make it more fun. All right. Snap, crackle, pop. Stupid superstition. Rolling red wagons. Tried and true tridents. All right. We've got hand motions. Ha ha, of course we do. So snap is just a snap with both hands. Crackle is a clap. And pop, you're going to interlace those fingers like we do when we're doing that rounded back stretch, but it's just the hands that are pushing forward on pop. Snap, crackle, pop. So don't come to like this kind of a hand motion or it's going to be harder to get to your interlaced fingers. If you just come to almost this like prayer type position of clapping, then you can just intermesh them and go. So snap, crackle, pop. Then we move on to stupid superstition. So we're going to do two snaps. Stupid superstition. So fists come together. You're fist bumping yourself. <laughs> stupid superstition. Rolling red wagons. We're going to take one of Zave's very favorite moves the wheels on the bus, and we're going to say rolling red wagons. Oh, okay. We're making a W, so we're just going from this roll, 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 bringing those arms up. If your W looks like this, because that's easier and more accessible to you, great. If you want to get fancy and do it all backwards, that's great too, all right? So, Let's go through the ones that we have. We have snap with both hands, crackle, pop. Stu stupid superstition, rolling red wagons, tried, I'm making a T, making a T with the other hand, and true, tridents. All right. Tried and true tridents. T and T, pull it back. Tried and true tridents. All right, here we are. Let's go through all four of them together and see how we do. Snap, crackle, pop. Stupid superstition. Rolling red wagon. Tried and true tridents. Again. Make sure that in your attempt to add in the hand motions and make it challenging and all that good stuff, um, that you're not losing vocal power, right? We're in our vocal power class, so our goal here is really nailing the vocals. The other stuff, icing on the cake, just for fun. Forget it if you want to, whatever works, okay? Here we go through all four. And let me say hi to Spencer. Hi, Spencer, I'm so happy you're here, okay. Here we go from the top. We're doing our snaps first. Here we go. Snap, crackle, pop. Stupid superstition. Rolling red wagons. Tried and true tridents. Awesome.
awesome. Well done. That's something that you'll be able to go back to if you want to. Give it a try later. Really nail it. Um, but you're awesome. Let's get to singing because we've got three songs that are, they feel long, but I don't know. And then we want to perform with our karaoke at the end. So why not? First song we have, and you're going to have to bear with me today, this congestion. It's making it a little, you know, a little tricky. So we may sound a little more nasally than usual, and we're just going to go with it. We've got You've Lost That Love and Feeling by the Righteous Brothers. Here we go. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. Let's just try that bunch together. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. All right. Second line is about the same. And there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. So almost the same exact melody except for maybe on fingertips. Then we get to, you're trying hard not to show it. But baby, pause. Baby, I know it. All right. Um, we're going to see this melody again, so let's go back through that first verse. Here we are. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it. But baby, pause, baby, I know it. Then we're up to our chorus. You've lost that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. And each time you say love and feeling, we're kind of like leaning into that, pushing into that, giving it some movement, almost a little slide. You lost that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. You've lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. All right. So we've got um, the third one. You lost that love and feeling. Now it's, so that one jumps up just a little bit, right? So the first two are pretty much the same. You lost that love and feeling whoa that love and feeling you lost that love and feeling now it's gone 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 whoa 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 so whoa whoa five notes on that whoa 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 all right we're gonna see that melody again too so Let's move along to our second verse, which is, Now there's no welcome look in your eyes when I reach for you. We've heard this melody, right, on the first verse. We're just adding in some new words. And now you're starting to criticize little things I do. Here we go. It makes me just feel like crying. Because baby... Pause. Something beautiful's dying. And this is one of those great songs that really, like, every time you really lead up to this chorus. The chorus is has so much um, feeling and emotion behind it, right? So each time, it's like you're saying it for the first time. You've lost that love and feeling. So you've got, every time you've got the dramatic, because baby, pause. Something beautiful's dying. Boom. You lost that love and feeling. Pause. Whoa, that love and feeling. You lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Y'all are rocking it. I can tell. I'm feeling the vibes. Good job. Okay. Um, so this next part is a little more ad-libby. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to work better when we have the music. But we've got baby, baby. 
I'd get down on my knees for you If you would only love me like you used to do We had a love, a love, a love you don't find every day Ooh, okay, so that a love you don't find every day is quick We had a love, a love, a love you don't find every day so don't, don't, don't let it slip away. Okay, that actually is faster. So don't, don't, don't let it slip away. Okay, then they're just kind of like ad-libbing. This is like all of the, the righteous brothers. <laughs> they're just kind of throwing stuff in there. So this next part is just, baby, baby, I beg you please, please, blah, 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 blah. Very ad-libby, okay? Have fun with it. Bring out your um, imaginary microphone. Sing to your heart's content. Whatever feels good to you when we get there, okay? And then we're back to our chorus, which is, bring back that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. Bring back that love and feeling cause it's gone, gone, gone. And I can't go on, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, a little bit different there on that last line, cause it's gone, gone, gone. And instead of going right into our whoa, 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 we repeat the melody with new words. And I can't go on, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we got it. Let's try it. From the top, I want you to have all the emotion, all the feeling, all of the things, okay? From the top, here we go. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it. But baby, baby, I know it. You've lost that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. You lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now there's no welcome look in your eyes when I reach for you. And now you're starting to criticize little things I do. It makes me just feel like crying. Really feel it. Cause baby, something beautiful's dying. You lost that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. You lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby, baby, I get down on my knees for you. If you would only love me like you used to do. We had a love, a love, a love you don't find every day. So don't, 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 don't let it slip away. Baby, baby, I beg you please, please, I need your love. I need your love, so bring it on back, bring it on back, here we go. Bring back that love and feeling, whoa, that love and feeling. Bring back that love and feeling, cause it's gone, 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 and I can't go on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause. All right. We are going to skip that last one just so we can rock through everything and then really sing it with the tracks. You guys are awesome.
Well done. I hope you had fun with that. I hope you felt it. I hope you felt like the single spotlight on you, pouring your heart out on the stage, yeah? All right, moving on. <clears throat> We've got You Can't Hurry Love by The Supremes. We've got some good ones, some classics today, y'all. All right, we start with I need love, love to ease my mind. I need to find, find someone to call my mama said you can't hurry love. Okay, pause. Let's go through that first verse. I need love, love to ease my mind. I need to find, find someone to call mine. But mama said, so that but mama said leads right into the chorus. You can't hurry love. No, you just have to wait. She said love don't come easy. Okay. You can't hurry love. No. Oh. Mama said you can't hurry love. No, you just have to wait. She said love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. You can't hurry love. No, you just have to wait. You gotta trust, give it time, no matter how long it takes. Pause. All right, let's go through that a little, let's back it up just a little. So, um, we've got our first, you can't hurry love, you just have to wait. Love don't come easy, it's a game of give and take. And then we repeat, you can't hurry love, no, you just have to wait. Um, it's the same melody, but because we have less words, we have to, move climb kind of up on our trust you gotta trust give it time you gotta trust give it time no matter how long it takes all right then we get to a little we'll call it a bridge but it does repeat so i don't know what it is all right um <laughs> it goes but how many heartaches must i stand Let's try that again. But how many heartaches must I stand before I find a love to let me live again? Right now, the only thing that keeps me hanging on. All right, so um, how many heartaches must I stand before I find a love to let me live again. Okay. We have kind of the same melody repeating here. Right now the only thing is the same as before I find a love. Right now the only thing that keeps me hanging on. When I feel my strength, yeah it's almost gone. I remember mama said. And when we're singing a cappella, we will sing the next line, You Can't Hurry Love. When we sing with the track, I think our, our backup singers are gonna sing that line for us and we'll pick it up after that. So, our chorus again. You can't hurry love, no, you just have to wait. She said love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take, how long must I wait? How much more can I take before loneliness, loneliness will cause? Mm. All right, just like you gotta trust, give it time before loneliness will cause my heart, heart to break. All right, how we doing? All right, then we got same as how many heartaches no, no, I can't bear to live my life alone. Uh, I just sang that. Okay, it is the same melody. But how many heartaches must I stand? Is the same as where we are now. No, no, I can't bear to live my life alone. I grow impatient for a love to call my own. But when I feel that I, I can't go on, these precious words keeps me hanging on. I remember mama said, and we're back. 
You can't hurry love. No, you just have to wait. Same verse. We got it. Let's jump down to no love, love, don't come easy. That's, we're back to that original melody from the very top of the song. No love, love, don't come easy. But I keep on waiting, anticipating for that soft voice to talk to me at night. So anticipating is actually kind of the end of that line. And then for that soft voice, that for that might need to be down on the bottom line. So, no love, love, don't come easy. But I keep on waiting, anticipating for that soft voice to talk to me at night. For some tender arms to hold me tight. I keep waiting, pause, I keep on waiting. But it ain't easy, it ain't easy when mama said you can't hurry love. Yada, yada, yada. All right. I think we've got this one. I think we're rocking and rolling. Let's take it from the top. Let's have some fun with it. All right. Um, yeah, I think we've got it. Any questions? Any comments? Any suggestions? Hmm. All right, here we go. Have fun with it. Put a smile on your face. Remember that we're in our vocal power class. So the important thing is not that you nail every note, is not that you sound like an opera singer or a Broadway singer or the Supremes. Um, the important thing is that you are using this as an opportunity to use your voice so we don't lose your voice. All right, here we go from the top. I need love, love to ease my mind. I need to find, find someone to call mine. But mama said you can't hurry, love. No, you just have to wait. She said love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. You can't hurry, love. No, you just have to wait. You gotta trust, give it time, no matter how long it takes. But how many heartaches must I stand before I find the love to let me live again? Right now the only thing that keeps me hanging on when I feel my strength, yeah, it's almost gone. I remember mama said, you can't hurry, love. No, you just have to wait. She said, love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. How long must I wait? How much more can I take before loneliness will cause my heart, my heart to break? No, I can't bear to live my life alone. I grow impatient for a love to call my own. But when I feel that I, I can't go on, these precious words keep me hanging on. I remember mama said, can't hurry love, no, you just have to wait. She said, love don't come easy, it's a game of give and take, you can't hurry love, no, you just have to wait. She said, and trust, give it time, no matter how long it takes. No love, love, don't come easy. But I keep on waiting, anticipating for that soft voice to talk to me at night. For some tender arms to hold me tight, I keep waiting, I keep on waiting. But it ain't easy, it ain't easy when mama said you can't hurry love. No, you just have to wait. She said trust, give it time, no matter how long it takes, you can't hurry love. Awesome. Well done. Really, really lovely. Hi, Marty. Hi, hi, hi. I'm so happy you're here. Um, great job, guys. How did you feel? Doing all right? Let's grab a sip of water if you want it, if you need it. 
reset. Because you'd think after these two powerful songs, we might be done. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Next up, we have I Feel Good by James Brown. All right. This one's simple, really recognizable melody, except for this one little middle-y part that he kind of goes off and does his own thing, which is fun. Um, but here we go. You start with the classic James Brown. Wow! So it's not just like, whoa. It's like a whole like, wow! Yeah, it's like a whole thing you got to do uh, that starts the whole song off. So if you don't start on the right foot there, you're just behind the eight ball the whole time. So, wow! I feel good. And I feel like when you sing this one a cappella, you have to kind of do the, like the backing track with it. Um, I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I knew that I would now. I feel good. So the second one, you get a little waterfall. Feel good. I knew that I would now. So good. So good. I got you. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um, so, so good. You've got two beats. Bump, bump. So good. Bump, bump. But you actually start singing the I got you on that second bump. So, so good. So good. Bump. I got you. Bump, 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 bump. Anyway. Again, we start the second verse with a wow. I feel nice, da -na 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 -na, like sugar and spice. I feel nice, like sugar and spice. So nice, two claps, so nice, one, I got you. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you cannot put too much attitude in this song, all right? You just can't, so. I really want you to have fun with it. Um, everybody should be able to sing this one on some level. You know, it's just a really, really fun song. It's not as lyrical. So even if you're one of those that considers yourself not a singer, rock this one out. You're going to have fun with it. So this is that little part that I told you is kind of funky. When I hold you in my arms, I know you... I know that I can't do no wrong. Okay. When I hold you in my arms, I know that I can't do no wrong. And when I hold you in my arms, my love won't do you no harm. Okay. So, little ad libby, but we got it. When I hold you in my arms, I know that I can't do no wrong. And when I hold you in my arms, my love won't do you no harm. Okay, we're leading up to, and I feel nice. Or we can just go simple. I feel nice, da -na 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 -na, like sugar and spice. I feel nice, da -na 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 -na, like sugar and spice. So nice. So nice, I got a you, boom, bam, bam. So remember, every time we do so good or so nice, it's so good, two beats, so nice, one, and then I got you. So nice, so nice, one, I got a you. And there's a little like, I got you, I got a apostrophe, I got a you. There's like a little stylistic, I got a you. And that you comes up and just falls off a little ledge. I got a you. All right, style it up. Style it up and have fun. Yes, Robert, you absolutely have to do footwork like James Brown. And I better see it. Um, <laughs> if you have James Brown footwork, pull it out. The world needs it. All right. Um, that's the song, guys. We do that other little section. Let's go through that one, when I hold you in my arms section. When I hold you in my arms, I know that I can't do no, oh, actually the first one doesn't jump up like that. When I hold you in my arms, 
I know that I can't do no wrong. And then the second one jumps up, when I hold you in my arms. This one's higher, just all the same. My love can't do me no harm. I feel nice like sugar and spice. All right, let's sing it through. And then we're rocking to the karaoke tracks. All right, here we go. Get ready for your big wow moment, okay? You gotta blow them away from that first beat. Here we go. Whoa, I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I knew that I would now. I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I knew that I would now. So good, so good. I got a you. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa, I feel nice. Da -na 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 -na. Like sugar and spice. I feel nice, like sugar and spice. So nice, so nice. I got a you, bum, 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 bum. When I hold you in my arms, I know that I can't do no wrong. And when I hold you in my arms, my love won't do you no harm. I feel nice, da -na 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 -na. Like sugar and spice, I feel nice. Like sugar and spice, so nice, so nice. I got you. Bow, 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 bow. When I hold you in my arms, I know that I can't do no wrong. When I hold you in my arms, my love can't do me no harm. I feel nice. Da -na 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 like sugar and spice. I feel nice, like sugar and spice. So nice, so nice. I got a you, bow, 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 bow. Whoa, I feel good. I knew that I would now. I feel good. I knew that I would. So good. So good, I got a you. Bam, 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 bam. So good, so good, cause I got a you. One more. So good, so good, I got a you. Yes! Nice job, y'all. Awesome, awesome. I felt your energy, I saw the footwork. Robert, how did you get so good at that footwork? Really impressive. <laughs> you guys are incredible. Now is the time. If you are watching us on the replay, that concludes our class.